Welcome to an eye-opening journey through China's groundbreaking discoveries about the moon. You may think you know our closest celestial neighbor, but the truth unveiled by China's space program will leave you amazed. The moon, our constant companion in the night sky, has long captivated humanity's imagination. We've sent astronauts, rovers, and orbiters to explore its mysteries. But recent revelations by China have shattered our preconceptions. In this video, we'll dive deep into China's space program, spanning over six decades, and how their missions have reshaped our understanding of the moon. China's remarkable journey into the realm of space exploration commenced during the 1950s, a pivotal period marked by the intense global competition of the space race. The origins of China's space program can be traced back to this era, driven by a complex interplay of geopolitical factors and a strong desire to develop its own missile capabilities. In the backdrop of the Cold War and escalating tensions between superpowers, most notably the United States and the Soviet Union, China found itself at a crossroads. Fears loomed that these global giants might soon wield the power to launch weapons into space, thereby reshaping the dynamics of international security. In response to these concerns and the prevailing global climate, China embarked on its space odyssey. Initially, China sought collaboration with the Soviet Union, a space superpower with significant expertise in rocketry and space exploration. This partnership had the potential to propel China's space ambitions forward rapidly. The collaboration, however, proved to be short-lived due to political differences and China's aspiration for greater independence. By the 1960s, China had decided to chart its own course in the cosmos. This pivotal moment marked the beginning of China's independent path in space exploration. China's space program, which had its roots in missile development, gradually evolved to encompass a broader range of space-related endeavors. This transformation included the development of satellite technology, launch capabilities, and, ultimately, lunar exploration missions. China's journey into space symbolizes not only its pursuit of technological prowess but also its determination to assert its presence on the global stage. Over the decades, China has made impressive strides in space exploration, achieving significant milestones such as launching its own satellites, conducting human spaceflight missions, and, as exemplified by the Chang'e missions, exploring the moon. In 2007, China's lunar exploration ambitions took off with the successful launch of Chang'e-1, their first lunar probe. Its high-resolution mapping of the lunar surface, examination of elemental composition, and laser altimetry provided valuable insights into the moon's geology, formation, and space environment. Chang'e-2 followed, equipped with advanced technology. It delivered even more detailed imagery of the moon's surface, mapped variations in lunar regolith depth, and provided a 3D view of lunar features. Special focus was given to the South Pole Aitken Basin, a key to understanding the moon's ancient crust and mantle. Chang'e 3 made history as China's first successful lunar lander and rover mission. Launched in December 2013, it represented a significant leap forward in China's space exploration program. The mission had two primary objectives, to safely deliver a lander and a rover to the lunar surface and to conduct a comprehensive set of scientific experiments and observations. The landing site selected for Chang'e 3 was the Mare Imbrium region, specifically a location known as the Bay of Rainbows, Sinus Iridum. This region was chosen due to its geological and scientific significance. The Mare Imbrium is an ancient impact basin on the Moon, estimated to have formed billions of years ago. It presented an ideal location for studying the Moon's geological history and evolution due to its age and diverse geological features. The successful landing of Chang'e 3's lander and rover marked a momentous achievement in China's space exploration history. The lander, named the Lander of Chang'e 3, and the rover, known as U2, or Jade Rabbit, were safely deployed onto the lunar surface. Chang'e 3's scientific instruments and equipment were instrumental in conducting a wide range of experiments and observations. The rover, U2, was equipped with advanced sensors, cameras, 
and scientific instruments that allowed it to explore and study the lunar terrain, atmosphere, and geology. This included capturing high-resolution images of the lunar surface, analyzing soil and rock samples, and conducting compositional studies. One of the primary scientific objectives of Chang'e 3 was to analyze the elemental composition of the lunar soil and rocks. This data would provide valuable insights into the Moon's geological history and shed light on its formation and evolution. The mission aimed to uncover the Moon's geological secrets by studying the lunar regolith in the Mare Imbrium region. Chang'e 4, an unprecedented mission, landed on the far side of the Moon in the South Pole Aitken Basin. It uncovered materials distinct from the near side, hinting at a complex geological history. This mission's success was vital for understanding the Moon's unique exosphere and observing the universe without Earth's interference. Chang'e 4 also carried out a fascinating experiment, cultivating cotton seeds and other life forms on the Moon. While short-lived, this achievement opens doors to studying life sustainability in extraterrestrial environments. In 2020, Chang'e 5 brought back lunar samples from Oceanus Procellarum, revealing rocks about 2 billion years old. These samples provide insights into the Moon's history and its role in the evolution of Earth and the solar system. The Chang'e 5 mission employed a complex architecture, including a service module, lander, ascent vehicle, and Earth return module. This setup allowed for the safe collection and return of lunar samples. Chang'e 5's next destination was the Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 1. This unique point lies in the gravitational equilibrium between the Earth and the Sun, providing a stable environment for spacecraft. This journey was no mere detour. It was a strategic move to test cutting-edge technologies essential for future Chinese missions. At the Sun-Earth L1 point, Chang'e 5 engaged in a series of experiments and observations. This included studying the space environment, solar activity, and other celestial phenomena. Additionally, it assessed the performance of its instruments and systems under the conditions encountered at this remote location. These tests were pivotal in ensuring the reliability and resilience of China's spacecraft in the harsh environment of space. But Chang'e 5's ambition didn't stop at Sun-Earth L1. It ventured even further by entering a distant retrograde orbit around the Moon. Unlike the near-equatorial orbits of previous lunar missions, this was a distinctive choice. DRRO is an orbit where a spacecraft travels in the opposite direction to the Moon's rotation. In this orbit, Chang'e 5 conducted a myriad of experiments and trials. One significant aspect was its investigation into lunar dust and its impact on spacecraft. Lunar dust is abrasive and can pose significant challenges for prolonged lunar missions. By studying its effects and interactions in a retrograde orbit, Chang'e 5 contributed valuable data for future lunar base planning and sustainability. The extended mission of Chang'e 5 served as a testing ground for a range of technologies that are pivotal for China's ambitious space exploration plans. These technologies included advanced navigation systems, communication networks, and autonomous operations that will be critical for upcoming missions to the Moon and beyond. Moreover, this phase of the mission was a testament to China's dedication to advancing its space capabilities. It showcased the nation's determination to be at the forefront of space exploration and to contribute significantly to our understanding of the cosmos. China's space program has not only expanded our knowledge of the Moon but also brought us closer to unlocking its secrets. These discoveries have far-reaching implications, from understanding lunar history to planning future lunar bases. As we continue exploring the cosmos, we must keep our eyes on the sky and remain open to the remarkable truths awaiting discovery. Thank you for joining us on this incredible lunar odyssey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating space adventures. Until next time, keep looking up.